everybody. Welcome to Bravo Confessionals. I'm Taylor, that's Mel and Michelle, and we're here with our friend Mary from 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days, and we are so excited. We're just going to get to know her a little bit better today, so here we are. Can't wait. I think uh, Mel is starting first. All right, Miss Mary, where are you from? Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh. How would your friends best describe you? Loyal. Yeah. Uh, a little quirky. Um, definitely a prankster. Um, but definitely loyal. Oh. Uh, like one of us. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, yes, yes, and yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I prank my husband every single day. As a matter of fact, I had a prank yesterday and I forgot to write it down. So I got to go back and try and figure out what that was. But it was going to be embarrassing. <laughs> hilarious all at the same time. What are you passionate about? Oh, let's see. Um, lots of things. I like to read, but um, right now what I'm reading is mostly, is, is a passion of mine. I really enjoy the morgue. So right now I'm reading a book that's morgue stories. Um, science. I love science. During my lunch break today, I was reading all the new patents that people had um, submitted and that are being processed and all of that. I've learned a lot. So if you ever get bored, start reading patents. You'll find oh, a yeah. lot of it quickly. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a nerd. <laughs> part, so. No, you said morgues. Like I looked at Mel like, she is our person. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, Taylor and I, we probably have a very, um, unsettling obsession with like now I hate to say death but basically like crime so we're yeah. very uh there's there used to be this website that I used to go on to when I was like a kid and there's like 10 days of decomposition and I remember <laughs> going back looking like every day to see the body further decomposed yep. Yep. anyway um <laughs> yeah see, I, I you, do. my session too. I just, I'm afraid to watch it because I have little kids and I'm afraid that I'm going to raise a serial killer or something. <laughs> you know, you, but here's the thing. This is what you have to remember. Like if your kid does say, I want to cut, cut open dead bodies, well then you need to go ahead and like put them in pathology because you can do that legally or they can become a serial killer. So <laughs> it's science. It's, yeah. it's for a good cause. Exactly. <laughs> So they, just have to body. they just have to do it legally, get a degree in medicine. <laughs> so Dexter just chose the wrong career path. He did. That's he it. actually did. Yeah. Yeah. He okay. He just went yeah. about it the wrong way. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I should have took it just a little. For, you know? <laughs> yeah. When, when Lena says, Mommy, I, I want to cut up a dead body, just go, now I know your career path. Exactly. <laughs> in, in my head thinking, oh my god, I totally f***ed up my kid. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm with you, okay. Yeah. Well, my daughter was super intrigued by John Wick yesterday during the one uh, part where he goes through and just annihilates like a room full of guys, and she was just like, wow. And I uh -huh. thought, this is either really cool or really terrible. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, technically there are people who do that, you know, they're usually in the military, so you just kind of have to find where they can go, you know? Yeah, so. yeah, just find, just find what she's really passionate about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what is your favorite thing about yourself? Oh, uh, personality-wise? Yeah, like overall. <sighs> so, this is a fun fact. When I was in high school, I was voted most talented. So I like the fact that I'm multifaceted. I'm not necessarily put into one little groove. I like that I am willing to try new things because of that talent, because I can do different things. So I, I, yeah, I'll say that. Multifaceted. Yeah, good one. It's a really good one. Yeah. yeah. And then if you could have dinner with anyone famous. Anyone? Yeah. Like I, I want to hang out with Val Kilmer, you know, so like, someone yeah. like that. I love him. <laughs> So here's who I would choose today. This changes daily. Yeah. But today it would be, what's that guy's name? Brand. Brand. What's his name? Russell Brand. Russell Brand. Brand. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd be like this the whole day. I know, <laughs> me too. I'm like, Katy Perry out, Mary in. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's married to someone else now. Oh, uh, that's what I hope. Yeah. You know, she is, she's out. 
<laughs> I just want him to, to order my food for me and I'll just be like, yeah, whatever he said, mm -hmm. whatever he says. He's just so <laughs> fascinating. I don't know if you listen to his podcast or not. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my gosh. Like that man, I could listen to him talk forever. Yeah. yeah. About mm -hmm. anything about flies on the wall. I'd be into it. Um, yep. and if you could date someone abroad, would you do so? Or would you date someone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back to it. Um, yes, I, I think so. I think that could, that could probably work. Pending though, pending, because a lot of that, I mean, cultures kind of collide, you know, because of beliefs and this and whatever. So it, 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 it depends on where we're speaking. Cause you know, yeah. they're, yeah. But yeah, I think so. Depending if worlds collide. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, something that you would change about yourself. So all these positive things and then roll back to if you could change something. Mm -hmm. I'm working on those daily. Yeah. But it's, I mean, you know, that's not definitely, gosh, let's see. I don't know. Um, sometimes, yeah. Uh, learning to know when to keep my mouth shut when I'm angry. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's pretty much when, but I, like I said, I'm much better now than I used to be before I used to like, right then, you know, just fly off the handle and say what I had to say. Now I've learned to reel it back and just wait get to what I really mean. Um, but that's, that's a daily process. If I can okay. do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that one. I mean, well, that's, that's my question. <laughs> that's, <laughs> my, that's all of our lives actually. <laughs> yeah. It is a, uh, a daily task to mm -hmm. think. Of. I usually go through the process. Of what is the result that I want from my response? So I will gauge how I'm going to respond. And oftentimes I don't necessarily always have to have the last word because I oftentimes walk away going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yep, fine, sure, whatever you said, yep, in my head. But yeah, I know, I know, we, we know what it's like because we often go through our days going, <laughs> uh huh. Oh, you have no idea. I do it often. And now that I have to wear a mask every day, I snark at people more than they know. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite part of wearing the mask is now I'll walk around the grocery store and like I'll always be singing but like I used to have to like not sing but now I can walk through the grocery store and no one knows that it's me singing <laughs> <laughs> that's great I love that and if you get the register and they're like did you by chance were you bothered in an aisle by a woman singing you can go yes that was obnoxious <laughs> oh my God. And I wanted her to keep going <laughs> There, that way, that aisle over there. <laughs> that, loony, that loony with a beautiful voice. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? Oh, um, let's see. I went through 50 different things when I was a kid. When I was really, the, one, well, one of the ones I remember was I wanted to be a biologist and be in the Amazon finding different species of bugs. I don't have any idea. I thought that I was I, on, a, on the canopy of and throw a net down on top of the canopy and find bugs. That's one of the first things that I thought that I was going to do. Then later in life, I thought, well, like a little later, just a few, like, well, I don't know. It's really hot. Maybe not. Maybe I want to <laughs> be lab and be behind a microscope. And then later on, I became a teacher for preschool. Then after that, I tried to be a paralegal, which I hated. Then I've done so many things that I just keep trying them out because why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you won talented in high school. Now you can just try them all, right? So what, do you, what is it that you do now? Side question, I guess. Well, <laughs> I'm a nurse now. Oh, so, awesome. Yeah, so, but I don't necessarily want to always be a nurse. Um, because I'm not, I'm not always nice um, <laughs> people, and it's really hard to always be nice to people, and I feel like if you're a nurse, you really have to be a people person, and I'm not always a people person, especially before noon. <laughs> <laughs> you should be the nurse admin. Just work yourself up so you get to boss around all the other nurses. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you're so crotchety, it's because you're just really busy, and everybody's like, oh, that's just Mary. Well, they're finally starting to learn. Don't talk to me before noon. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but yeah, no, now, like I said, you know, I'm doing, I'm back in school I'm doing some other things. I, 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 like I told you guys, I do want to kind of do the morgue thing. So trying to figure out if I want to do biology or pathology or what I want to do to kind of figure out what, what job I want. So that's interesting. That's cool. Um, so what would be your biggest pet peeve? Mm, toothpaste in a sink. Ooh. Oh, good one. <laughs> Good one, especially when like the guy shaves and then it sticks to the toothpaste in the sink. That's so gross. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a combo of like toothpaste and, and uh, razor hair and. Yeah. yeah, it's nasty. It's nasty. Just, just, just rinse it out. Just rinse it out. That one. And, and then when people say, um, all of a sudden, I don't know why it bothers me, but the word is suddenly. And I say it every time in my head when people say, all of a sudden, I'm like, suddenly. I say it under my breath every time. I, don't know. I love that. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, what would be your, if you were, if you had one last meal, mm. of, what would it be? I love red meat. I love steak. I love it. Love it, love it. So it would have to be, I don't know, it would have to be one of the most fanciest steaks that you could imagine. Like a real nice T-bone steak. Mm, no, I'm thinking more like that Kobe or whatever, like the Ooh. one. Oh, the Kobe? Yeah. yeah. You know, like, and I can't remember. There's a couple of different ones that's been aged and their feet have never even touched the ground type because their their meat is so soft. So it'd have to be one of those. And, you know, um, uh not that fancy. <laughs> yeah, it, that would have to be so good. That and uh, I love asparagus. Like, love it. So it had to be that. Um, as far as dessert goes, I love tiramisu. So that's what we, that's what I'd have to have. Works for me. Where is um? Where's your happy place? Where would you go? Mm, somewhere I've been, or somewhere I would want to go. Anytime you're stressed out and you just like have to think mentally think about like that place that you go that just like creates zen. Uh, the mountains. Yeah. Um, just this fictitious place that's kind of in my brain that's just complete. I see nothing but clear blue water. You know, the mountains are in the distance and it's just quiet. That's where I go. Love that. What is your guilty pleasure? Hmm. Pasta of any kind. <laughs> so it is about the pasta <laughs> have you ever been olive garden oh okay so yes so, but, no mel loves uh, mel is a huge fan of the olive garden i am here for the olive garden i my italian friends are like oh olive garden Wah. and i'm like but it's good I mean, I in the nicest hole in the wall, like your buddy's, you know, great great grandpa still has a sauce in there in Little Italy, San Francisco. But let me tell you about Olive Garden, okay? The girls already know the, know the spiel. It's all you can eat salad. It's all you can I eat bread. Yeah. It's all you can eat pasta. And no. I'm going. <laughs> it's true. And, and I'm like, okay, I don't really. I, the spaghetti or whatever, uh, okay. But I'll say this. I mean, it's not as good. I've been to New York. I've had some of the best pasta in New York that's made, you know, right there in Little Italy. And there's homemade, whole, uh, amazing food. And, of course, I've got friends who are Italian, too, who've made, who've made me food. And it's amazing. But it's still, it's still one of those, like, fast food kind of, you know. If you want a burger, you don't necessarily go to McDonald's for the burgers. You just go for nostalgia, you know. You go to Burger King. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they got that charcoal grill girl i'm saying <laughs> uh, so my next is best halloween costume you've ever done oh gosh <laughs> i was going real random when i was coming up with these questions guys sorry <laughs> Un fact, i don't do a lot of halloween costumes here's why my birthday usually falls, right, it's that same weekend. So every time that I go out for Halloween, that's my birthday. So I don't, I don't typically 
do that because I'm like, hey, it's my birthday dinner and only like two people show up because 90 other ones are doing their, their Halloween stuff. And I don't want to go to my birthday dinner, like, you know, full makeup and dress like a hoodie. Dress dog. like Batman or something. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the best one I'd have to say that I've done recently um, would be like the, uh, what is that? Oh gosh, the sugar skull thing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, like Dia de los Muertes or whatever. That's, yeah. That's what I did. Yeah, I did half my face completely done and the other half not. So it looked like kind of like a broken porcelain. Do you know like a broken? That's, that's the only thing I could come up with. Oh, and then when I was a couple, this was, yeah, oh well, my gosh, probably five years ago, I was dating a guy and we went to an adult party. So we did, I was dressed as a pumpkin. And then his name, well, I'm going to say it, I don't care. Um, his name was Peter. So, like, that was his real name. So he so, was Peter, 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 Peter Pumpkin Peter. Eater. <laughs> we did that because it was an adult party, no kids around. But it was fun. <laughs> his name really was Peter. So. <laughs> That's hysterical. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> That's All right. Have, like, I'm ketchup and mustard or salt and pepper but that's way better <laughs> <laughs> um, what is one thing about you that surprises people oh mm, I don't know um I love trivia I'm full of useless knowledge that's kind of funny people who really don't think that I think they don't realize that I am a big nerd um so that's one thing so cash cab you're walking out with all the money oh yeah love it I used to watch that all the time so final um, question in cash cab, are you taking the cash or are you doubling? You know, I think I, it depends. I think, oh God, I think it would depend on my confidence level for that day <laughs> or how much I had got, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I guess that would be it that I, that I'm full of useless knowledge. I guess that would surprise people. I don't know. Um, and I guess this would also be kind of along those lines. If you can suddenly become an expert in one thing, what would you choose? It would have, ooh. Yeah, no, it still has to be, um, microbiology. I think that would help a ton. Yeah, that would be it. Mm -hmm. cool. Using your superpowers for good. I like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would have to. <laughs> All right, Taylor, you're up. Okay. So what's the first concert you ever went to and who's your, like, who's your favorite band now? Okay. So, um, my earliest memories of concerts, there were two and I can't remember which one came first. It was either Willie Nelson or Bon Jovi. And I can't remember which one was first. I was super young and little. And I remember Willie Nelson, we were really, really far back, but I, and it was, it was outside and I remember when a certain song came on, there was just nothing but lighters. Like it was back that, like that far, it was so long ago. Bon Jovi was a little young, I was a little older. No, I can't remember. It was clear, I'll say that. And it was a lot more memorable. So I'm, I have to think that Willie Nelson must have come first because the Bon Jovi one was a little clear as I can remember. But with that one, it was outside too, but we were closer speakers like I could literally almost touch the speakers we were that wow. close so okay. one of the two I don't know which one it was if, if you're <laughs> inspired in a moment when halfway there comes on then you'll know <laughs> so in high school in high school slash early college because we weren't hooking up in high school right so my group of friends uh the guys would always say like if you start to hook up with a girl but like they wouldn't let you sleep with them they would say you just got Bon Jovi <laughs> because right. you're halfway there, halfway there. on a prayer. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so awful. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> that's great. So you have six months to live. What's the first thing you're doing and what's the most important thing you're doing in that amount of time? Um, my kids and I will probably leave the country and spend Spend it abroad, wherever we want to go. Uh, Thailand's definitely on the list in several places, but I would just pack a pack, a pack, backpack, and 
let's go. Let's figure out where we're heading. Let's see as many places as we can. Nice. Uh, ooh, what do you look for in a significant other? Mm. Honesty. Honesty and loyalty for sure. I think that they kind of go hand in hand. And people say, no, that's not the same thing. Yeah, it kind of is. Because if you are honest, you're going to be loyal most of the time. Um, so those two things. Yeah. Do you ever notice, um, like, in relationships that white lies are comparable to, like, being dishonest? It because is. Because I find even, like, those tiny white lies, I'm like, those still count. <laughs> you know, depending if it's, like, keeping a secret for, for your birthday. Those I don't yeah. really care. But, like, yeah, absolutely. If you're telling me you're talking to Susan and Susan's messaged you two days ago, that still counts because what are you actually hiding? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Because if you're just going to lie about the little things, well, like, well, I don't know what I did after work. Well, I mean, if you're going to lie about that. What are you going to lie about later? Yep. And the way that I feel about it is if you're lying about something, then what are you afraid of? Because that's the only reason you really lie is you're afraid of something. So yep. what is Amen to uh, that. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you could... <laughs> what? Sorry, that was a good point. I don't think I've ever really thought about it like that. That if you're lying about something, you're afraid of it. I never yeah, yeah. Really, yeah, yeah you are. Yeah. And it's something that I've, I've, I've thought about for a long time. I'm like, well, I don't really, people ask me all the time, what are you afraid of? And I'm like, I'm not really afraid of anything. Um, spiders. But no. I mean, of course, losing my kids, but I think any mother is afraid of that. That's, you know, worst fear. But why are you lying? What are you afraid of? And that's just the way I ask my kids. I always tell my kids, I'm like, don't lie to me. Like, are you afraid to respond in a certain way? Well, you know, you probably shouldn't have done said action. But don't yeah. lie to it. Amen. All right. Yeah. Amen. Um, so if you could trade lives with any famous person for a day, who would it be and why? A day? Yeah, just a day. Or a week. <laughs> well, this changes daily, too. But um, it would, today would be Akon. Oh. Akon? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> the rapper my, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Okay. If you guys, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Akon is wanting to create his entire, his own city, like whole thing, the whole shebang. I'm not kidding. This is a true thing, and he's like got a grant for it. It's been, it's been totally approved. So he's got his own currency going, everything, and his own, the whole thing. So you have to look on his Instagram and then look it up online. So today I would want to be Akon because I want to know the ins and the outs and what all is going on and what all entails and do I want to move there. And what, <laughs> what app? You like? I see, I don't know. See, it starts with an S, I think. I can't remember. But it's not see. in like the United States. No, it's in a completely different country. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, I want to go. I know. Yeah, enough. Yeah. Like, all um, mean they would exchange be my do you think they'll exchange like so do you think they'll just be called like acorns the money that you pass around or like, <laughs> <laughs> in like land. yeah acorn land <laughs> they'll have a they'll have a sign at the very front that'll say acorn land i just want to know if he's gonna build it like biodome or like the truman show i want to live in the truman show <laughs> you have that's to one of my favorite movies ever i it love is. the truman show you have to look at it because it's so futuristic what he has drawn out. It's crazy. So I'm today, so involved already. I know. I know. <laughs> Rabbit hole. Go in. I'm going. <laughs> um, what's one thing that your parents taught you that completely changed your life? Hmm. Um, oh, gosh. Hmm. I'll, okay. Give it a minute or give it a week. Those two advice, those two sentences have changed the way that I look and th feel and make decisions. Like, because like I said earlier, you know, I used to be really quick to react, really quick to whatever. Well, this, those two sentences, give it a minute. Well, just give it a minute. Just, just hold on just a second. Think about it. And then if it's something that's a little more pressing, give it an hour. Like, let it settle down. Let everything kind of just and see what's going on so that way you can, you know, see the situation. And if it's as far as relationships or if it's other things, give it a week. I'm like, well, I'm thinking about breaking up with him. Give it a week. Or 
Maybe, should I text him? Give it a week and just kind of see what plays out. Um, so those things, give it a minute, give it an hour, give it a week have always done me justice. Good. I mean, that's such good advice too, because I know for myself, like I hold everything in Mel and Michelle would agree to this, that half of the time, like I, I need to step up and give it half a week, give it half a day. But that's such good advice for somebody that is, you know, more, could be more explosive with their emotions. You know, like Mel and Michelle are both they yeah, have Michelle's raising her hand, but like some people just act react immediately, and so that's like really good advice. Just be like, "Well, pump the brakes. We'll get through this." Dude, that's yeah. what I've actually started doing, and I've done it like maybe since I got married. But um, I've actually given myself like, "All right, if it pisses you off now, give it 24 hours. If it yeah. still pisses you off tomorrow, then you need to address it. But if it's yep. just my rage, like." making a mountain out of a molehill then I'll just let it go and you know call it a day yep that's what I had to I think that's that definitely has helped good advice knowing what you know now in life what advice would you give your younger self Taylor sorry I'm sorry I had what's your best Halloween costume and she's going deep and she okay I only had two deep questions and they happen to be back to back because I thought we were going to close it out after this <laughs> What's your favorite Halloween costume? <laughs> I mean, okay, so hold off. Think on that one. What's okay. the best Christmas present you've ever received? No. Um, best Christmas present. She's like, to go back to the other question now. <laughs> uh, maybe when I was a kid, um, one of the that's m- most memorable um was when I had a keyboard I thought that that was phenomenal it wasn't one of the little ones it was like the big daddy where it was just you know like the Kawasaki oh yeah (laughs) I mean it did everything I wish I honestly I think my parents still have that silly thing you gotta find it yeah it's it's probably somewhere I kid you not they're they're start doing (laughs) it I mean there's another show for that (laughs) lives of you just playing on the Panasonic. See, I'm, I'm hearing Ross from Friends. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, that was actually. <laughs> All right, sorry, Taylor. No, it's okay. Um, so, knowing what you know now, what advice would you give your younger self? <sighs> um. Go with your first instinct. Go with your first instinct when it comes to people and situations. Um, Don't second guess yourself. And always be confident in your your belief um, and what you believe. Uh, Yeah, I think that's what I would say to my younger self. Nice. I would have told myself to get knocked up in high school. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, if we're just throwing it all out there. I haven't been able to get pregnant, so, like, huh. I, like, tell myself now, like, you should have just done it. You should have just done it. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I'm like, wait, what? Because I don't want to tell my daughter that right now. Oh, yeah, I hope she's not listening. Earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> I tell her to wait as long as she can for children because, you know, live your life and travel and do all the things and have fun because as soon as the baby comes, you're not going to sleep ever, yeah. ever. Ever, ever again but fun things for you to look forward to <laughs> um i don't know does anybody else have any other questions or anything well, we, got, we or- gotta ask it we cannot leave until we ask what's your favorite toothpaste <laughs> <laughs> that um, is our question we ask everyone okay <laughs> so i'm trying to get picked up by crest or something <laughs> It's well, actually, uh, for years I made my own toothpaste for years and years and years. And then um, my kids, my daughter, she's like, I'm so sick of this, and just like got mad at me. And I was like, Oh, okay, well, I didn't know you were like so passionate about using regular toothpaste. We'll buy regular toothpaste. So <laughs> I used the charcoal crest, the charcoal brilliant white, or something like that. That's the charcoal brand. That's yeah, the one. I- 
I have yep. it. What I use? I got all that charcoal stuff. Yep. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I have. It's it, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay, so are we talking like baking soda and mint stuff like that? Yeah. That's what I did, baking soda mint. Um, and sometimes I didn't even put flavoring in it. I just did the baking soda and then did the um, the coconut oil. Yeah. And just would just usually use that or whatever. But a, a um, lot of people, a lot of people don't know about pulling your teeth with coconut oil. Yep, I used to do that all the time. I, I've seen like some crazy videos of the stuff that'll come out between people's teeth when they yeah. do that. It's nasty, but it really yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. I go downstairs and pull with some coconut oil after this because I just remembered I haven't done it in like a week. Yeah, and it's been a, me too. It's been a couple months for sure. I need to do it. <laughs> Noted, writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all I had dragon bread. You didn't believe me. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what a way to close out the show then. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that we get to chat to you again soon later on when maybe we can dig a little deeper into, you know, other things, but we're so happy to get to know you better. We this really, really are. It's been a joy. This is, uh, Bravo Confessionals, you've been on our first dating game series. So Yay. welcome. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Thank you, man. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Oh, she's the sweet. How pretty if you're